I, I, I've, I've never killed anyone. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Still having those nightmares. Also, oh, now it's two weeks earlier. Okay. Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm going to have to come in after you. Not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. No one wants to see that, Oak. Yeah, I know. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. No, I'm good. Matt, your loss. Despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is now. They're growing on me too. Kind of nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed her trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. Why'd you go after her? Because back then, I still thought I could make a difference. After my brother... I just want to make it through another day. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions. 
didn't turn me away. Just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. So, it'd be the most uh, unique game of Go Fish you've ever played. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Well, hey there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Sam, stop! Easy, all right? Jesus! Uh, little help here! Please, I need a hand! Hey! Let go of me! Thank you. Why did you stop me? What are you... Why are you protecting him? You, you know what he did. You should be better than that, Sam. Don't be like him. Or like you? Just stating the obvious here. <laughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. But you're the one burned down our home. Forced our people on the shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Families, kids, never did shit to you. Didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up. All the shit they had to leave behind. Ignore him, Michonne. Probably burned beyond recognition now. You did that. You better keep your mouth shut. I'm not, uh, upsetting you, am I? You're the murderer. Not her. You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Damn, this bitch is bossy. Miss Jones? You don't want to keep me waiting. I'm right here. Good. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand. But your luck has changed. Michelle and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. That's my deal, Michonne. Just do what she says. That goes both ways. Anything you do to my friends, I'll do to Randall. You better not touch him! We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. <laughs> so, what do 
do you think's going to happen next? <laughs> you know, honestly, I had a feeling the crew was going to play a part into this. I am honestly not surprised that she went out and got the crew. Well, this is the final episode of The Walking Dead Machine. Um, my first episode is on my second channel, Sea Drizzle Gaming, and then these two are on Crystal 5, so if you want to see my first episode I did, check out my second channel, Sea Drizzle Gaming. Um, that channel really didn't pan out. I mean, it still could, but I can talk about that more later. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like with Norma, a lot of shit's going to go wrong. And but I guess we will just have to find out and see. something on my face the bruises aren't so bad right I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers shut up maybe it won't matter this has to work keep on hoping if you want Norma's not gonna be happy when she sees them like this then we don't let her see him how long do you think we can keep that up? I don't know. I've never done this before. The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> you all have no idea what you're in for. Ugh. He's right. Yeah, I feel like some shit's gonna go down too. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. Stop. Where do you propose we go? I don't know. Does it matter? Anywhere would be better than here. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, where are you going? I think Sam's actually right. I don't think Norma will leave us alone. I'll watch it. Sam! Sam, what the hell are you doing? God damn it. Sam, stop. Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. We couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. 
he'd want to be with her. <sighs> That's all I can give him. I understand. He should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My that. mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. I know you don't want to, but leaving might be your only option. It isn't safe here anymore. I know, but I, I can't just give up. We can fight. We can defend this house. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. So why not just bury the body and then just leave? I was, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just. And how does it feel? It's it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. I mean, I guess nowadays nowadays you can't be too careful. But I do feel bad. I feel wrong for that decision. I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? You have to be smart. That's how you survive. My dad was the smartest guy I knew. That didn't save him. The guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad, he can't get away with it. We hurt Randall for what he did. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Your sister's tough. I wouldn't worry about her too much. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Don't forget what I told you. Play it smart and you'll be fine. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. I 
Wish it didn't always come to this. I mean, nowadays in a zombie apocalypse and, and in situations like this, Janie, what do you do? What's hold up? The prisoners aren't cooperating. What do you want to do? Yeah, we don't have time for this. Get them moving. I mean, even Lee had to teach Clementine how to use a gun to protect herself. So nothing, I mean, I don't know. I guess it really depends on how you classify it. Is that music? Can I come in? You doing okay in here? I bet that was scary before when I brought your sister in like that. But she's okay now. Nothing can hurt me in here. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Was this your dad's idea? Yeah. My dad makes sure I'm always safe. So nothing can happen to me. Ever. Especially not those... things. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. Getting scared is normal. Really? Happens to everyone sometimes. But my dad's not scared of them. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? I'm so sorry, Alex. Something terrible happened. A bad man came and hurt your dad. What? He shot him. No, I don't believe you. I want to see him. Please. <laughs> Did my dad be become one of them? It it it's what happens, right? He did, didn't he? No, your dad didn't become one of them. <laughs> Still your dad. It's not fair. Alex, you need to be strong, okay? I can't. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. <laughs> Fairbanks. Oh, 
Uh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. She's... she's not thinking. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. This is your home. This place was never mine. They let me hang around, play make-believe. I left my real life a long time ago. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Then stay. Sam needs you. You're gonna regret it if you leave, trust me. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. I just want to make sure I get stuff to everybody. No more see right through this. Here, Pete. Thanks. Guest in this house. Where 